I have no idea either. I'm not sure what that was, but it was very, very funny. By the way, very, very brief here, but a big shout out to Tony and Jenna Criswell Jones in Wasaga Beach. You had no idea your names were going to be mentioned, but they have been. Pause now because onto something extremely different and, and nothing uh, uh, like as pleasant. Okay. I do know that bingo can sometimes go on until quite late at night. And then the trip to Tim Hortons, you might not get home until, what, 11 p.m. Then there's that shopping to do at Walmart and, and, and the, the cans of beans and those craft dinners to buy. So I'm not going to be too hard, actually, on Ontario's education minister, Liz Sandals. It's difficult, even though she's paid a small fortune and is in charge of the, your entire education department for the most populous and important province in the entire country. Asked about the radical, extreme, perverse sex education curriculum, the links between it and accused child pornographer and former deputy minister Benjamin Levin at the education department, Premier Kathleen Wynne's obsession with this indoctrination, propaganda, grooming children with lessons about anal and oral sex, changing one's gender, masturbation, homosexuality, and also why something so unpopular with so many Canadians should be forced on them, this liberal politician, hi, Liz, replied that she had signed off on the damn thing without even reading it. Indeed, evincing a nasty stew of contempt, arrogance, disdain, ignorance, and obvious longing to be back at the bingo hall, she dismissed the entire question. I couldn't even tell you right now what's currently under review. Eventually, somebody will come to me and say, as they did with the curriculum I just mentioned, saying, it's ready to be released, Minister. Here are the primary things that we have had changed, and I will say, fine, and I'll sign off, and it'll go out to the system. I have not read the curriculum documents that I just signed off on that went out the door in, um, in June, nor does anybody expect me to. Bingo! Bring me my smokes, will ya? Okay, she's saying that to she, the minister, reading a short document of just a few pages before signing it and approving it, that's just not possible, she says. Of course not. Leading one to wonder, what else she has put her name to. This is your signature, comrade. Your name, your soul, the public and outward display of your inner being and views and opinions. It's you. It's you, Liz Sandals. Liz Sandals stating that she had read and supported this. It, it, this would all be... It would be funny if it weren't so tragic. There is really only one course of action now. You've got to resign. Either fire her or... Lady, resign. I realise that this is a government plagued by incompetence and dishonesty, lying about energy plants, spending hundreds of millions of your dollars on trying to win elections, provoking a teacher strike simply to appear tough and popular. But, it, you know, in some ways, this is even worse. It really is worse. It goes to the very heart of government. The person who is supposed to be running an entire department, education, a vital one, is in fact not running it at all. She's admitting that, admitted that, but leaving it to people like, and here it gets very nasty, well, like former boss Benjamin Levin, now facing some of the most hideous charges in the entire criminal code, all of them involving the abuse and rape of children. I have to say that I was very fortunate to be working for a government that I believe was, was very oriented in that direction and, you know, working with the Premier and, and several ministers, uh, all of whom had that orientation. But Liz wouldn't know, of course. She hadn't read anything. What is a signature? if not an affirmation that you have approved of and agree with what you have just read. That's when I sign my name, and I'm sure you're the same. Now, Minister, you admit and boast openly that you have not read the curriculum, you don't even know what is in it, and you've effectively lied. Is this how all Liberal ministers behave? Is this how you, the people, should be treated? Liz Sandals is a lightweight, she's a fool, but she is a fool given the Education Department by Kathleen Wynne and the Liberal establishment, and they have assumed for too long that a bovine media and lots of friends in high places will win the day for them. This time, it's your children they are neglecting, or something far worse, and it's time for big questions and even bigger answers. If you don't believe me, ask the wretched Benjamin Levin.
looking to revive then the equity inclusive education strategy in its original format as it was in 2009? That's the commitment that both Premier McGuinty and Premier Wynne have made. It was never withdrawn. It was uh, what was what was put on hold was one section of the health and phys ed curriculum. Does she know she's education minister? I just wonder if, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. She's so out of her depth. But the, the, the real issue, and as I mentioned in the monologue, she has to resign. She's admitted to, boasted of, in fact, signing her name to a document that she hadn't read. Now, if you did that, uh, you, you know, you get a statement from the bank or the insurance company and sign here your passport. We've just applied for new passports, for example. You, 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 you sign, it means you have read. Now, you may, maybe you haven't read it. Okay, but... As a minister of the crown, a curriculum talking about anal and oral sex, and masturbation, and, 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 and sorry, you've got to go, you've got to go, run. I think she has to resign. She does have to resign. And I mean, in this circumstance, you look at somebody who makes it like it's a matter of course. This, this is the procedure that is used when people bring her things that she's supposed to sign. They give her the yeah. highlights, the Coles notes. She's the education minister. Imagine she came out and said to students today, don't read the classics. Just read the Coles <laughs> notes versions of these things and you'll be fine through your education and your entire career. But she didn't even university. say she'd done that. No, I mean, she said that somebody had briefed her on a couple of the highlights and then she signed her name to it. What good is the signature if you don't know what you're signing? If mm. you don't if you're not aware of the content of the documents. I mean, we talked about this on the radio show last night, and the phone lines exploded with yeah, people who were explain. outraged. I mean, the, the, 1010 is the biggest private station, I suppose, in the country, and your show has an enormous audience. So did anyone try to defend her? There were a couple of people, but they sounded more like liberal plants than they yeah. actually did yeah. uh, real people that were concerned about this. Parents were especially outraged. As you said, this was a curriculum that was very controversial, that parents didn't feel like they were consulted, and she's waving her pen around it like she, you know, is basically rubber mm. stamping it. In fact, one person uh, texted in last night saying, why don't we just hire a rubber stamp machine as opposed to a minister? It would be far cheaper to do so. Mm. Not the first time it's happened with her. We had the controversy where there was a, um, a poster up in the classroom, as you probably know, with a graphic depiction of oral sex, which was meant to, it had been designed for a gay bathhouse, not for a school. And even the people who designed it said, the AIDS Committee of Toronto said, this wouldn't be appropriate for a school. She was shown a pic this picture, and she looked at it and turned away. You could see she was quite shocked, but she hadn't seen it. She what does she do as a minister? Well, that's, this is a great, her that's a great question. I mean, now that's that's sort of the question that she's going to have to answer, and you have to ask whether or not this kind of thing goes on in other departments. Are we saying that the health minister doesn't, you know, look into the idea that they're expanding hospital networks or perhaps making controversial decisions? Does the energy minister not look whether or not power plants are supposed to mm. go here, there, or everywhere? Are they not reading those documents? What are the minister's responsibilities in each of these portfolios? Yep. What is the expectation as far as their job description is concerned? Because I would think that it would be to sit in a conference room, go over these things line by line, and then sign off on them if you think that they're appropriate. Mm -hmm. Certainly that's the way the Liberals have sold the sandals. If you think about it, the education minister has been sold on her background in education. She's bringing some sort of expertise. So that means she should be lending... Sound like it. That's right. She should be lending that expertise mm -hmm. to the documents in front of her, not just waving the pen over these documents and, and signing them yeah. without reading them thoroughly. And what is particularly pertinent here and deeply worrying is that the, the deputy minister is the person who would have run the department, and that was Benjamin Levin, who's been charged with some of the most vile crimes under the criminal code involving child pornography. Now, simultaneously, she says, I didn't read it. Kathleen Wynne says, oh, he had nothing to do with it. That's obviously not true. He did. What is going on here? Are we being given a curriculum that our elected politicians have no knowledge of, but Kathleen Wynne and a few buddies and Benjamin Levin do? Well, and that's the other question. Is this being put together in boardrooms and, you know, throughout consultation and having a, a consultation process? Or is this being put together at private dinner parties with liberal elites that are sitting there having conversations oh. with one another? I know you don't like no, the No, I term. just, I just, I knew you when you would never have said private dinner parties and liberal but elites. Listen, they you, come on, my boy. Well, well done. It's very true, though. I mean, these <laughs> things do happen. They happen in places like like Rosedale and other communities throughout Toronto, the, the she she crowd, they sit there and they talk about these type of things. And if that is where the curriculum that is being taught to kids in Ontario is coming from, we should be sounding alarm bells about it. Kathleen Wynne has to speak to a minister and about a minister that has now said basically she's not doing her job. That's an admission not that we've made, but that she has made in her own words yesterday. Mm -hmm. We're all worldly enough to know that there are ministers who don't do their work. Like, we're sure. not speaking of a 400-page document here. This, right. is, this is very brief. The sort of thing that um, most of us, I mean, every morning, 
the first thing I do is to go through various newspapers and websites. I mean, it takes a good hour and you have to work at it, but that's what that's your job. Sure. Liz, this is your job. You're meant to be aware. This is not something on the periphery of education. This was one of the most controversial aspects of education in this province in the past decade. And she says she hasn't read it. Well, yeah, and to that point, this is it. And I think this is something the viewers really need to pay attention to. This is something that hasn't been changed in 15 years. Mm. That's to underscore the magnitude of what we're talking about here. This isn't about hiring a school board director or right. something that is, you know, just minutiae in the day-to-day -day grind of things. I would understand that if a lackey signed off on that kind of thing, then so be it. Mm. This is a change 15 years in the making. You want to have a handle on it, you want to know what it says, and you want, I, I don't sign anything in my life without reading it, whether it's a cell phone contract or an internet bill or something to that effect, without reading it thoroughly and putting my name on it, and she should be doing the same, and we should expect that of her. Do you think she will resign or be no. forced to resign? No, I don't. Unless we continue the pressure on, on the, uh, the Premier specifically mm. to do something about this, I don't think she'll be forced to resign. And that's the unfortunate part of this Liberal government. They can skate through these scandals, and people seem to want to let them do that. We won't let it go here. 1010, will you continue with this? Absolutely, I will Good. be talking about it tonight. Hope you're happy, Liz Sandals. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.